Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's alright today. It's Wednesday, August 16th. And currently it's 69 degrees. And the high's only going to be 74. That sounds great to me. 0% uh, chance of rain. We don't really need any more right now. <laughs> We've got so much of it. Uh, winds are at 4 mile per hour right now yeah the water's got plenty i mean the garden's got plenty of water that's for sure <laughs> and speaking of the garden there will be a garden update today i haven't done one in about i think 10 or 12 days or something like that it's been longer than i normally go but uh, i also have some helpful hints or helpful no helpful tips uh on that too so check it out today the garden's doing great um you know, the natural uh, progression of things, you know, the closer it gets towards fall, the, uh, some of the things like the tomatoes will start to, you know, wind down. And, of course, the cucumbers did. I think they, they did early. So I, I can pull them up in that one now for sure. Uh, they're, they're dead. Um, what's for dinner tonight? We want to use some more of these, uh, where did they go? Buns. These things are so good, these Dave's buns, and they're still as soft as they were when we got them the other day. Uh, we want to use those because they're expensive. You know, I did get a, a $1.50 rebate from Ibotta, but we want to use them all, you know, before they start getting not as soft. So we're going to have cheeseburgers tonight and fries. Thought about Sloppy Joe's, but we decided on cheeseburgers. Um, Maybe some other time we'll have some with some of them with some cheeseburgers. I want to try the 21 grain one or whatever, it, the, the dark one. Uh, it's like a brown, brown color hamburger bun. I want to try those sometime too. Okay. Um, I've got a taste test. You know, I've been trying some of these drinks. I tried the uh, ice, sparkling ice, and uh, then I tried... Uh, one of the Kroger ones that was uh, the same flavor as one of the sparkling ice and it tasted a, a lot like it so I don't know if they make them or not for them but they do taste like them but today's I had this other one I thought I may as well try it it's Kroger uh, sparkling water beverage and it's white grape white grape flavor okay let's see nutrition facts should be pretty good on it um, let's say you drink the whole thing. At the at worst case scenario, you drink the whole thing. Uh, there's only 10 calories if you drink 33.8 ounces, but zero calories if you drink 12 ounces. But anyway, um, if you drink the whole thing, I mean, uh, it's no fat, no saturated fat, no trans fat or cholesterol. It would be 30 milligrams of sodium, which is 1%. Uh, 2 grams of carbs is 1%. Uh, no fiber, no sugars, um, no, nothing. Well, they, it's, you get 2% of calcium and 2% of potassium if you drink the whole thing. Okay, and it's got the sucralose in it. So let's check it out. I don't think I've ever tried any kind of a seltzer or anything that was great. And white grape. How can you tell the difference between white grape and grape and something like this? <laughs> I'm just... It's pretty good. And it's sweet. You know, I think, you know, this is good and everything, but I think I like the, like, uh, seltzer waters. Um, that don't have any sugar in them at all. Like the one that I tried, the Polar. I really like that Polar one. It had no no sugar or uh, any kind of sweetness in it. I don't think it did. Um, it's not as sweet, you know, but you can still taste a fruit flavor. But this is good, but it seems a little sweet to me. I don't think it needs to be that sweet, but the taste of the 
I can taste it great, but I don't know if I was to drink one without knowing what what flavor it was. I don't know if I could guess that was grape. You know, but it's not a bad taste. It's it's a good taste, but I I just don't. I don't know. Like I said, if I didn't know it was grape, I I probably could take a drink of it and say, "What is that?" What flavor is that, you know? Even though it's a good taste. For me, it's just a little sweet tasting. A little too sweet tasting for me to drink a lot of it. Um, probably with just... I don't know. This wouldn't be my, my favorite flavor in it. I'm not crazy about like grape juice either or anything, but... Um, but, you know, on the nutrition facts, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Because that's a lot to drink all this and just get that little bit of something. But um, as far as taste, I'm going to give it a a 3.5 out of 5 for me. Now, y'all, everybody, you know, I'm going to say this every time. Is everybody has different taste buds. Logan or Joy might t try this and say that's the best great you know, water, beverage, or whatever I've ever, I've ever had, you know, but I, you know, in the first place, I'm not crazy about uh, grape juice. I like grape jelly, but I don't, I'm not crazy about grape juice. I never, I never drink any, but, um, you know, it's not bad. I wish it was a little less sweet, even with, you know, artificial sweeteners can taste really sweet too, you know, so, not my favorite flavor I like the pineapple coconut better so you know I just tell it like it is as far as for me um, if you have a Kroger they were only 89 cents but if you like grape flavor um, you might like this but you might think the same as me and think oh, does it really I can't really tell if that's grape or not I was having a hard time with the flavor of the uh, pineapple if you remember thinking it didn't exactly taste like pineapple you know but the coconut flavor was easy to tell so that's my take on that a five for the nutrition facts out of five and a three and a half out of five for flavor okay on today's tidbits and i, ha I taste a little uh, just a little bit of a aftertaste but not strong you know i didn't drink a whole lot of it but um so anyway and, and another thing uh when i try stuff uh you know, like like the other day when I tried the spaghettios, I don't I don't eat the whole can or anything. I I haven't had spaghettios since the last time I did a taste test on one, and I didn't eat the whole can there then either. I try what you see me eat uh, during the taste test is basically what I have of it. You know, I maybe I took about four or five spoonfuls of it, uh, so I know it had that one had a lot of salt, so I don't. I wouldn't eat it, but I, I tried it to let y'all know how it was. That, you know, in case somebody is thinking that I, oh, I'm having too much salt or whatever. No, I'm not. We watch our salt, you know, and uh, I just tried that is all I did. So I don't, you know, just because you see me try something doesn't mean I sit there and chow down and eat the rest of it when, I'm, when I'm done. I just thought I would get that uh, across because I've been having some comments, you know, but. Uh, that should answer it, you know, because <laughs> I do, we do watch, you know, when you do a taste test, you're, it's exactly what it, it says it is, a taste test, you know, uh, Logan and I don't sit there and eat chips and stuff, and even if we did, the ones that we try mostly are healthy, and, you know, they don't have hardly any fat or anything in them, but we don't, you know, we don't sit around and eat all that stuff, <laughs> so anyway, that's why I like getting smaller bags, you know, so we don't end up sooner or later just throwing it away or giving it away or something like that, you know. Try to get the smaller bags, and then if you like them, you can get a bigger bag, you know, somewhere like Walmart. Okay, here's today's tidbits. Quake Spark Fear is Hawaii's Kalua, Kilauea Volcano Awakening. They don't need any more trouble. Uh, concern is mounting over increased activity at the Kilauea Excuse me, that stuff gives me, makes me bark. Volcano on Hawaii's Big Island. 
Officials said the volcano's peak has experienced a dramatic increase in earthquake rates in the past week. Alarmingly, the number of earthquakes each day has increased from 20 to 40 to 100. This may indicate a recharging of the volcano's magma. Hmm. Okay. Railway bridge collapses in Norway after torrential rain. And they didn't have any really like feel good today's tidbits today either. It's, it's hard to find some when it's like that because there's so much bad weather and so much heat and stuff that's, you know, that's about everything's about and, you know, and disasters and stuff. You know, try not to, you know, do too much that or have, might make somebody uh, sad or something. Um, but anyway, a railway bridge in southeastern Norway that ran across a river swollen by torrential rain collapsed Monday. The central section of the steel truss bridge over the Lagan River slid into the water due to damage to the bridge foundation. All traffic across the bridge was halted a week ago out of fear that it would tumble due to the high water level. Well, that's good. Nobody was hurt that way. Okay. Lake Michigan crossing struggles continue. Second swimmer quits. You remember I did a, I did a tidbit um, a couple weeks ago about one that tried to go to swim across it. The second swimmer in a month has abandoned an attempt to cross Lake Michigan after spending hours in the water. Brian Huffman, 49, of Holland, Michigan, began the roughly 50-mile swim Saturday morning in Wisconsin. He gave up after his support boat lost its steering, and he grew cold after battling a lake current. Okay. You know, I can't imagine trying something like that. Just, you know, uh, Lake Michigan is real choppy, you know, just like all the Great Lakes. It would be hard to swim in that. Uh, July 2023 takes crown as the hottest month ever on record. I don't doubt that a bit. On Monday, officials at NASA and the NOAA unveiled new data indicating that July was the hottest month on record. Last month, both global sea surface and land temperatures soared well above long-standing averages. According to the report, the Earth saw its warmest July since temperature record keeping began 174 years ago. Wow. <clears throat> okay, let's see what's in the old... There's nice news at the top. Let's see if there's anything down through here worth uh, fall decor up to 40% less than you'd spend elsewhere. Uh, big lots. There's a uh, Timu again. Timu, or uh, I was called trying to get me to make videos. They asked me about every other day. Okay, I don't really see anything down through there. Amazing. Um, I haven't really looked at them all today. How about this one? Nice news. Okay, Europe's oldest lakeside village discovered in Albania a treasure trove for research. Archaeologists discovered an ancient village beneath the surface of Albania's Lake Orid, and it's believed to be the oldest of its kind across all Europe. The site, once a community of stilt houses, dates back to between 6,000 and 5,800 B.C. Wow! It, it is several hundred years older than previously known lake-dwelling sites in the Mediterranean and Alpine, Alpine regions. Albert Hoffner an archaeology professor at Switzerland's University of Bern told AFP, adding, to our knowledge, it is the oldest in Europe. Among the curious findings that researchers saw during their dives are thousands of spiked planks, likely used for protection. Protection from what? They do not yet know. It's just one of many questions the scientists want to answer. Building their village on stilts was a complex task, very complicated, very difficult, and it's important to understand why these people made this choice. Hafner said the discovery is a real treasure trove for research and it will likely take about two decades to fully process it all. Wow.
Georgia Guaranteed Income Project gives cash to women in need and it's working. That sounds like a good, a good thing. About a year ago, 650 women across three Georgia communities were offered $850 per month for 24 months, or $850, as part of a Guaranteed Income Pilot Program called In Her Hands. It's specifically focused on helping black women who make 63 cents on the dollar compared to white men in the state and are much more likely to live in poverty. Now at the halfway mark, the donation funded initiative run by the Georgia Resilience and Opportunity Fund has enough data to show that it's working. At the end of July, the nonprofit shared that after the first six months, nearly all of the participants said the money helped them cover a financial emergency. More than half reported being able to put away some savings, 82% felt more financially secure, and 17% had enough money for child care, three times as many as before the program started. That's great. Great. Okay, our quote of the day is from Mark Twain, and it's courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not absence of fear. All right, everybody, that's going to be it today for morning coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Hope everybody has a great day. Definitely check out the garden update later on today. See what's going on in the garden. Bye, everybody, and God bless.